Uh, hello everybody. So it has been a good amount of time that I've been away. Uh, main reason is um, I don't know what to talk about. Um, plus I've been just very out of it, I guess. Um, not really wanting to do anything. Um, I just wish I had more topics I could talk about. Um, that'd be nice, but it's uh, quite difficult to come up with topics to talk about. Uh, so I just like come up with something or like think of an idea that I have not done in like a long time or that I've never done, which is we rare because I feel like I've done everything. Um so yeah. So this video is about psychotic episodes or like um yeah, like psychotic episodes. Because I don't know if I've talked about this before, and if I have, it's been a very long time, so I am not sure. Um but before I get into this, if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they'll be in the description below. Um, my brain's going to be all over the fucking place because I can already feel it. Like, I can't even, I can barely hold a sentence together. <sighs> and lately, I just feel like my memory is just so bad to where it's like, I can't remember shit. So, yeah. Um, so psychotic, psychotic episodes, um, people can have these when they're not schizophrenic or they can have them with any other illness. Um, it's not just schizophrenic people have psychotic episodes. Uh, I don't know how many psychotic, how, how many psychotic episodes I've had in my life. Um, quite a bit, I would say. Uh, and they're not very fun. Sometimes when I would have, like, this didn't happen all the time. Actually, this, so, I would basically get, um, I would become catatonic for quite a while after having a psychotic episode. Um, I don't know why that is. I think maybe my body and my brain just it felt like it, because when you have a psychotic episode, it, it takes everything out of you. And I think when I had mine or when I was having them, um, I would become catatonic for quite a bit. Uh, and this would happen to happen almost every time. Um. So what goes on when you're having a psychotic episode to me or for me is I um, hear voices a lot and then my body just like, my body just feels weird. It feels like I have been kind of possessed in a way and I can't stop shaking. Like I become um, like... I, I can't stop. Like, my whole body just shakes. And I find it um, very uncomfortable because I can't control it. And it's, like, f freaking me out because I'm, like, hearing a lot. It's, like, everything full force. Like, I start hearing voices like crazy. And then I hear... And I, I hallucinate a lot during it. Um... So that's what it is like, and I don't know if I should talk about this. I don't even really care anymore, to be honest, but when I do have psychotic, psychotic episodes, I do tend to harm myself, as in um, punching myself like really, really, really hard, um, punching things really hard. Um, I get very frustrated when I'm having them, I get very angry, 
and uh, I don't know why. It's not like I'm angry at a. I'm. It's not like I'm angry for a certain reason. It's just I'm angry, and I think um. One thing that has been pissing me off lately is like, uh, people who have schizophrenia get treated, and there's this stigma. Because I heard this earlier from um. I don't want to talk about it, but basically, um, people don't, uh, they treat schizophrenia. A lot of people are really afraid of people with schizophrenia, and I find that very frustrating because in my case or in any other person's case, I am not violent towards other people. I've never been violent towards other people. I mean, yeah, I've been in fights and stuff when I was younger, but that's just, that happens to everyone. So it's like, I'm not violent because I'm schizophrenic, you know? I'm not violent, period, anyways. So it's like, not every schizophrenic person is violent, especially if they're having a psychotic episode. You know, you can get really fucking confused, and you can get very, uh, you don't know what the hell is going on. You don't know what's real. So, but they will, for me, I would always harm myself, like, it's, it's like, I don't know, it pisses me off, because people just don't understand mental illness at all, like, at least, like, try to understand it, try to learn, um, about it, because, like, it's a very, like, because I've been, I've been discriminated against, basically, because I'm schizophrenic, and this only happened to me once, recently, so it's like, that shit pisses me off, because it's like, man, I'm just trying to live my fucking life. Uh, the best way I can. I don't want to have to deal with people being afraid of me. Or people being all like, oh, this person is, uh, you know, schizophrenic. So you got to be careful around them. It's like, man, what the fuck? So th that shit pisses me off a lot. But um, thankfully, like most people I know or whatever, they are understanding of it. They know that, you know... People with schizophrenia are less likely to commit, like, a violent crime. Even though, like, everybody in the media is, like, if somebody does something, like, out of the ordinary or they hurt people or something, they always just claim that they're, like, severely mentally ill and then they'll put a label on it, like, schizophrenic or some shit. So it just, like, puts the fucking light on that. And it's just annoying. Um... But for me, when I had psychotic episodes, I never um, was violent um, towards anyone. Uh, I remember one time, I think like one of my earliest times I had a psychotic episode, I was like 13 or 14. And right now I'm 27. Um, I'm like 20, I'm 27 now, so um, it's been a long time. Um, but basically I was just like, all of a sudden I was super overwhelmed and I was hearing a lot of voices, right? And like, I was hanging out with a friend and things were just very weird. Like I was, I felt like I was getting possessed. Like, I don't know if this is like it for other people, but I always feel like I'm getting possessed and then I can't control myself. So like. I can't control, like, my body, like, I shake a lot, I punch myself a lot, and I just sat there, I just sat there like this for, like, an hour, or some shit, I don't know what it was, I don't know if it's, I, I just become so overwhelmed that, um, I just, like, become catatonic or whatever, um, I remember I snapped my phone in half, um, and 
my friend was very concerned for me, so they got my parents. Actually, I might have been younger. Than, no, actually, I don't know how old I was. I, I know it was. I know it was somewhere in that around that range. Um, that time I didn't have to go to the hospital because I don't even know what classifies because su super as like a psychotic episode because I've had times where I would like sit I would be in my room all day like uh 20 sorry my brain is just not functioning properly today I I, I can't fucking come up with a sentence I can't can't speak right but I remember back then um when I was really mentally not the best I would lock myself in my room I mean I still do this but not as severe as it was then um I would lock myself in my room and I would put I had a huge ass couch that would just go in front of the room uh, the door and I would just sit there I would just sit there in, in silence and just stare. I don't know for how long I would do it. I think it happened for days at one point. Um, I don't know if that's like a psychotic episode or not. Um, but it wasn't good. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was not eating. And I would stay up for days at a time. So, yeah. Um, I've had moments where I've literally broken my hands. I don't know. Well, I would wouldn't say broken my hand but i would i broke like uh some knuckles or st and stuff like that um but yeah i want to talk about i mean psychotic episodes are one thing i should have talked about i should i mean i've talked about the stigma before but recently it's just been really pissing me off because um yeah just like what the fuck happened to my shirt it just, it makes me really sad. Because, like, the mental health system in America, uh don't know how it's like in other countries, because I've never, I haven't been to other countries, but it's, it's, it, it's really atrocious. Like, it's, it's, um, it's just like, mo I would say the majority of people just don't care, don't care to help, don't care to understand. Um, and yeah, like, I just, I just wish people would handle things better, like in the, in the media and handle mental, mental health easier. Like, let's say if someone does a fucked up thing, right? Um, They just instantly label them as, you know, mentally ill, schizophrenic person. I don't know. It's just so uh, annoying. Because I'd say the majority of people who are schizophrenic are not violent. At least for my, um, at least for my, like, living with it for most of my life. I've never really been violent towards anyone. Even having a psychotic episode. Um, I don't know. I guess. And then, and another thing is when I'm having. Uh, I don't know if this is. A, I don't know what counts as a psychotic episode. But when I was in the hospital. They were. This is when I was pretty messed up. I couldn't be in a room with anybody else. I. Um, my brain was just not right. My brain was not right. Okay. And I remember walking, pacing back and forth with like a fucking, with a fucking like blanket wrapped around me for some reason. Um, and I literally paced up, up and down the floor for like three to four hours talking to myself. Was I talking to myself? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was talking to myself. Or I was like whispering to myself or something. Something was going on. <laughs> I was like... I don't... See, I don't even know if that was a psychotic episode. I don't I don't know. But it, it could have been. But 
Yeah, that's when they put me on Seroquel, right? First night, 100 milligrams. Second night, 200 milligrams. Third night, 300 milligrams. And they would have just kept fucking going. Like, honestly, it's like there's a point of sedation where it's like, you know, I feel like this sedation's a bit too much. Um, but yeah, being sedated sucks. I'm sedated right now. That's why I can barely fucking talk. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to follow me on any of my socials, they're in the description below. I don't know when I'm going to upload next. It's kind of spontaneous. I'll just, I just do it when I feel like it. Um, sometimes I feel like I need to get, I need to vent. Um, and that's like mainly why I created this YouTube channel is to vent vent my because I, I i need to get things out you know i can't i can't bottle things up i don't really talk to many people uh especially about my mental health um i only really talk to my psychiatrist which i don't which i see um i don't know but i need to get a th cognitive behavioral therapist to be able to um for ptsd um, trying to deal with things that happened to me in my past. Try to deal with things that um, I struggle with 24-7. So I'm like always in a struggle. Like I'm always in like mental fucking... Uh, I don't know. I, I like feel like I'm dying every day. Every second every day I feel like I'm about to die. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's been a long video. Sorry about that. Uh, bye.